Now, you've had some big successes on TV as well. I mean, you're in the return right now. You had Law and Order, Six Feet Under, and then also Clueless. Which do you get recognized most for in public now? Um, well, Suburgatory just went off the air after three years, so I, <clears throat> I get, I get that probably the most current. Um, but it's it's a it's it's pretty even split between the three TV, uh, well, the, the three TV shows and this Clueless. I'm no. sure the fan reaction is different for all of these different groups. They are, and they're different types of people. Like yeah. Law and Order fans are not Suburgatory fans, you know, <laughs> and Clueless fans are not necessarily Return fans. Although Clueless fans. They were kids back then, so they've they've become a bunch of different people. <laughs> but they all become those, you know, preteens whenever they see me. They're like, ah! They're like flashback to their childhood. <laughs> now, this year is the 20th anniversary for Clueless too, which is crazy. Cause that, for me, I was one of those, yeah. you know, grew up watching it. It's my Mean Girls. <laughs> and I can't believe that it's been 20 years. Does it feel that way for you as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, it's, it's disturbing for me because I was 19. So I was like starting out as an adult. So I can't even say I was a kid. Like Breakfast Club, which I think they're doing, the, is it 30th? I think 30th anniversary. Like that was my kind of, when I was a kid, me and my sister rented that a ton and loved that movie. So that doesn't make me feel as old though. The Clueless thing really makes me feel old because that was like right at the beginning, but I was still an adult, so that makes me feel like I've been around forever. <laughs> now I have to ask, do you get fans that come up and like want to do the whole rolling with the homies thing? Is that the one thing that won't die for you from that movie? Yeah, which is funny because I don't even remember doing it. Like it wasn't like a big moment, or we didn't. I mean, I didn't think it was like a. It was in the. It was, I think it was on the day. They're like, oh yeah, we we decided to use this song, as rolling with the homies. So it was a last minute decision for the song. And then it was kind of a last minute decision to do the thing. And yeah, people are like, people who like don't even, didn't even remember the movie, didn't even see it that much. Or like, oh yeah, Rowan. I was like, it went really fast. That moment was really brief. Yeah, I don't think anyone knows any other words from the song. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's just that one verse and that's it. That's it, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for a long time it was, I was. I was too self-conscious to do it for people, but now if somebody says it, I'm like, yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Are you going to do anything to celebrate the 20th anniversary in July? God, no. No. I mean, I will if they if they want to, uh, but I feel like we just did some stuff. Last year, I think, for the reunion. It was like the reunion. Yeah, yeah. So, they did it a little early. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's why I was surprised when the 20th anniversary, I was like, oh, okay, but nobody seems to be asking for much right now. I feel like we just did a bunch of that. We're overseeing. Yeah. <laughs> and now what else do you have coming up that you know, people should be looking out for? Uh, so yeah, I have a, a movie called Breakpoint that was here last year and is coming out this summer that uh, I also I produced as well and, and, and um, co-wrote and started and, and that's really fun. It's a, it's a, a dramedy uh, about doubles tennis and estranged brothers who go on a run at the open and it's, it's a really cool, really cool sports uh, sports movie and it's poignant and but really funny and, and so I'm excited about that and um, and then these movies uh, The Hangman and the Other Side of the Door and The Returned uh, alright well, thank you so much thank you